excited to be back here on CGH. If you don't remember me, my name is Abby from Twist Me Pretty, and I upload weekly hair tutorials over on my channel. It would mean the world if you hopped on over, subscribed, and I would love for the chance to get to know you better. I have four kids under five, two of which are the cutest baby twin boys ever, and I would pretty much eat chocolate chip cookies all day long if I could. So now that you know a little bit about me, today we're going to be doing a really, really pretty mixed braid, so I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Make sure to go check out my channel, Twist Me Pretty, and you can subscribe below to CGH if you haven't already. Ready? And <laughs> let's get started. We're going to take a small section from the front and we're just going to start a Dutch French fishtail braid. So split the hair into two sections and you're going to take a sliver of hair from the front of the first section and just pass it underneath and combine it with the section in the back. And then you're going to take another sliver of hair from the back of that second section and pass it underneath and combine it with the first section. All we're going to do that's different now is add in new sections of hair. So take a sliver of hair from the front and pass it on back and then take a small section of hair from the hair that's down and you're just going to pass it to the back section and then repeat. So take a sliver of hair from the back section, pass it under and to the first and then add in a new section of hair by passing it to that first section. I know it sounds like a lot of steps and even more words, but practice it a few times and you'll find it's actually a really easy braid. So we're just gonna do this Dutch fishtail French braid down to about the ear, and then you'll just do a regular fishtail braid with the tails. When you reach the bottom, go ahead and pancake or massage the fishtail braid so that it's much more full and voluminous. I love the texture on these fluffed out fishtail braids. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So you'll want to make sure that your braid is angled straight back or you're gonna end up with some unwanted bubbles. So just be aware of the angle of the braid and how it's gonna lay when you're finished. Our fishtail braids are done! If only I could do them this fast. <laughs> Next, we're gonna do a little twist braid. So take a small section of hair from your crown, split it in two, and twist each section to the right, and then twist the sections together to your left. Add in a new section of hair on the right side and twist that section to the right, and then add in a new section of hair on the other side, twist it to the right, and then twist them together to your left. After three French twists, just twist down the rest of the tail. To make it easier, I like to twist just the side on the right instead of both sides and they stay just great. When you reach the end, go ahead and fluff out the twist to make it look more full and then take a clear elastic and instead of pulling the hair all the way through, I've done a little half bun so it looks a little bit more bohemian. Now we're finally ready to pin back those fishtail braids. So I like to take the smaller of the two braids and drape it over the top of my crown. And then you're just gonna use a bobby pin to secure it. I get mine from Sally's. They're very tight and they do a great job at holding a lot of hair. Then just go ahead and wrap the extra tails around your finger and pin down. Now take that second fishtail and we're gonna make sure that it covers the pins from the first and just let it sit right above the first fishtail. Pin in place and then wrap the tails around your finger and push them underneath that first fishtail braid and then secure it with a bobby pin. So this hairstyle is very textured. You really could hide a lot of bobby pins in there. So if you have thicker hair and it's not holding with just a few bobby pins like I've used, don't feel like you can't use more. To see more cute girls hairstyles, click in this little box right here and subscribe below if you have not already. I'm over at Twist Me Pretty. I will leave a link to my channel in the description box below. Make sure to come over and subscribe. Leave me all the loves. And we'll see you guys in a couple weeks for a new tutorial. Bye! <laughs>